Wagwan, my beautiful children, what have I missed? Oh, here we go, the self-proclaimed rapper is back. Well, Jizzy Joe, you missed Ben in the last episode and he dropped his mixtape called Facts. Oh, hot damn. Maybe I should drop him an email and ask to collaborate or something, Obama. Anyway, what else did you guys do? We beat Ultra Necrozma with the ice cream and right too, somehow Jizzy Joe, and now we're battling all the captains again. Wow, you actually beat Ultra Necrozma without me being there? You really must have improved, Barry. But I bet you're happy I'm back here now supporting you through these rematch battles with the captains. Honestly, I'd rather you go boil your head. But anyway, since you're here, Jizzy, how about you tell everyone to remember to hit the like button and subscribe? No way this battle has just started, so all our attention should be on this. And Mallow's first Pokemon is a Trevenant from the Kalos region. Which is about to get ripped apart by our Obama-type Pokemon. What in the actual hell does that mean, Donald? If you're too stupid to work that out, then why should I bother telling you? <laughs> It's because you're a dark type, Obama. And I think you should join me in the rap game too, by the way. You'd suit the gold chains and designer brand lifestyle the most out of the three of us. All right, that was out of order, bro. There is no way you'd get me looking like that, more so like you. By the end of this series, I'll have my rap song ready for you both or some sort of song, so stay tuned to the final episode if you all want to hear it. Well, this should be good LMAO. And if it's not Joe, then you're not allowed back here. Mallow here be trolling me, boys. She used to turn on her Zarina and sent out this magic mushroom. Yo, that thing do be like the shit I see when I'm smoking the cabbage. There's no way the designers of some of these Pokemon aren't high when they come up with them. Yeah, some acid trips definitely be happening, Jizzy Joe. Which leads me on to the question for this episode for our viewers. Which Pokemon do you think is the scariest in the Pokedex? We have a shit ton of contenders for this list. And there goes Mallow and her shit team. I nuked all of them, El Mao. My Flare Blitz move is like my Reaper drone if it were a Pokemon, don't you both think? I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that, Barry, but to answer your question, Donald, I think one of the scariest Pokemon is Dusk Noir. It can eat you with its tummy face thing, and Dusclops can create black holes or something. Gardevoir can also do that Joe, but I wouldn't call it scary. For me, the scariest Pokemon would have to be Giratina. It's literally like a wraith or something, and was the first ghost-type Pokemon too, other than my beloved Arceus. Hang on, looks like I don't have to battle Lana boys. Maybe she saw my battle with Mallow, and it gave her PTSD from the last time I battled her, the little bitch LMAO. Obama, how about you tell us which Pokemon you think is the scariest instead of being a cocky little shit? All right, all right. Well, for me, I think it would have to be Darkrai. That fellow puts you into perpetual nightmares, even if he doesn't mean to. Imagine Sleepy Joe getting constant nightmares if we had a Darkrai around here. Oh, that would be horrible for us, Obama. The idiot would be constantly in a bad mood, which would make him even more annoying than usual. Lucky for you both, I'm not Sleepy Joe, nor do I like ice cream or snorting cocaine. And look, Obama, you're about to battle your son again. Jesus fucking Christ, Joe, this guy isn't my goddamn son. He just happens to have the same skin color. Wow, poor Ki Ah Wei. He's getting abandoned by his father. You're not a very good dad, are you, Barry? I have two very happy and healthy daughters, you senile orange-faced sloth. And to prove I have no relation with this punk, I'll destroy him in this Pokemon battle and then throw him in the volcano. Oh, so we're doing human sacrifices now, are we, Obama? I guess that is very you, isn't it? Why are you two even ganging up on me like that anyway? I haven't done anything to you both yet. I've been actually trying to win this Captain Rematch battle so we can get our ass to the Pokemon League. Guarantee you'll get destroyed in the Pokemon League too, Obama LMAO. No way, Donald. You and your negative vibes can join my so-called son in the volcano. Haven't got any time for that shit, thank you very much. Hang on, I just realized our Pokemon are very high leveled now, boys. When did you do all that training? After he got creamed by Ultra Necrozma the first time, Jizzy Joe. And guess what, the only hit he got on it was because of the ice cream snow warning ability which started a hail. All right, wow, that's pretty sad, Barry, not gonna lie. And then you thought the best way to deal with it was to train your Pokemon to almost level 70. Yeah, and the funny thing is, he still got destroyed pretty much, and only won because Raichu saved him with Toxic, and the ice cream unalived itself with Explosion. Okay, are you both done with reliving the hell that was that Pokemon battle for me, boys? I had nightmares for two days after that episode. Wow, and right. Her Raichu has somehow survived that hit from Brave Bird 2 and should be able to one-shot Talonflame. This little fellow has really had a glow up, hasn't she? You could say that Joe, except it's almost level 70 and its defenses are barely into the 100s, whilst its special attack is crazy high. They've really done it dirty with its bad defenses, and I want to know for what reason they did this. 
Okay, Jizzy Joe, I'm about to show you one of my all-time favorite moves now. Explosion will rip this Marowak apart. Oh, yeah. All right, let's see this ultimate moves of yours since it's the move that helped kill a god, basically. Here we go. Obama, I literally have no words for you right now. All right, there was a slight miscalculation on my part since I forgot that Marowak is part ghost. And, um, yeah, sorry about that, boys. Yeah, it's official. There's no way you can redeem yourself now, Barry, especially after that. Everyone will be saying how garbage you are in the comments. Just you wait. Okay, okay, but to stop me from looking even worse than I already do, we could, you know, edit all this out. Don't you think you've covered up enough things for One Life Obama? And now you want to add Pokemon battles to the list too? Wow, you're definitely going to hell. And I thought I was going to go there alone. We can be bosom buddies again, Obama, hey, hey, and in hell this time too. I think God will let me have a free pass because of who I am. Donald plus one Pokemon battle won't be enough to send me there. Remember the graveyard of Pokemon you filled up in Unova after your Black 2 news lock? That graveyard amounts to nothing, Obama, after what you've done in this playthrough. Actually, I have idea. Everyone leave a comment stating who has played the worst out of Obama and myself. Oh, I hope I'm here in the next episode to review those comments, Donald. That would be hilarious. And I know Obama's gonna lose anyway. But looks like you're battling the final captain again. Yeah, I can't believe you just asked our viewers to comment that Donald. And now I'm gonna have to take out my rage on poor Sophocles here, and he hasn't even done anything wrong. I'm so angry right now, I might even end up attacking him. Well, it's your own fault for playing like one of Joe's three-year-olds, Barry. I don't have any three-year-old bitches, Donald. All mine are over 25 and take part in the Victoria's Secret fashion show. How does someone like you get supermodels from Victoria's Secret, Joe? Jealous are we, Barry? I mean, I would be jealous if my wife was called Michael and had a dick Elmo. What the hell, man? I swear this episode, you two have been coming at me hard. Nah, that's what Michael does with you every night, Barry. Hot damn Jizzy Joe Biden is writing a diss track right now, it seems. Obama, you better have some comebacks for him, otherwise you're gonna look like the biggest fool. You're both so lucky that you're my friends at the end of the day, boys. I'd set my nukes on both of you, especially you, Joe. I'll melt down your gold chains and make a gold statue with them of your actual real-life penis size. Well, you'll need to do a heist on Fort Knox then because I haven't got enough gold for that. It's like Jizzy Joe is Muhammad Ali and you're just, well, you Obama getting pummeled by punches one after the other and you even set yourself up for the last two as well? The only one here who's Ali is me Donald. I pummeled all these so-called captains to death with their shitty little teams too. Since you did actually beat them all, Obama, I'll back off for now since we will get the last feather from this chubby little boy. Nah, Joe, keep it up. It's nice to see Barry get flustered for once. He usually always has a comeback of some sorts, even if it's garbage. Say what you both want, but I'm actually doing important business right now, trying to get this game beat. To be fair, this is true. He is actually getting close to beating the game, Donald. Plus, we just finished Mina's trial too, which means we can head back to her and get our reward. I bet her reward is gonna be bullshit just like her, though. I mean, we did that trial against Komomo. And that should have been considered the main trial for this place, but no, we had to do all this nonsense too. Wow, so after collecting all those feathers or petals or whatever they are, all she made for us was a silly little rainbow thing. Wait a sec, she's going on about the totem Pokemon Obama. Looks like that battle with Komomo was in fact not the last trial for us. And she said, it's going to be the toughest totem battle yet for you, Barry, which means we'll be paying a lot of visits to Nurse Joy El Mal. Wait, are you fucking kidding me? I have to battle this moth thing? How can this battle be more difficult than Komomo? Or even that Tugetamaru from Sophocles' trial? All right, yeah, I gotta agree with you. There's no way this little bug is the toughest totem Pokemon in the whole of Alola. I mean, just look at it. I could step on it and turn it into mush if I wanted. Yeah, I'd get one of those electric tennis rackets and just whack this thing with it. I mean, it's so small and tiny and looks ridiculous. Yeah, see how much damage Shiro did to it, boys? A few more Acelerox and this thing will be mush indeed. Oh, hang on, the little insect is calling back up now, Barry. Be prepared. Wow, what the hell? I didn't expect the ally to be this chonkster. I guess this is a fairy-type battle now, though, Obama, so whatever you do, do not send out Salamence. How did you see that, though, boys? I just one-shot that fat pink fairy with one move. Our Shiro is literally the goodest of boys ever. Yeah, it is. Until you go kill it, Obama, why did you do that? If you had attacked the insect, then we'd have probably won, but instead we have to suffer and watch you and your insane strats. 
Calling that a strat is stretching it, Joe. We've come to realize that Obama doesn't have strats, but instead just blindly goes into battle without any idea of what to do. He's the type of guy to send our soldiers into war with knives and forks instead of guns. All right, but look, Donald, this works in my favor now. The new ally is a flying type, and it started to drizzle, too. Yeah, well, Raichu is about to get murdered again, thanks to your own incompetence, Obama. So I wouldn't call this working in your favor. Now nah, I'm about to nuke the bug with Gigavolt Havoc Jizzy Joe, just watch. And then dealing with that Pelipper will be easy as pie. Yeah, in Obama's defense, there's no way that bug will survive a direct hit from Gigavolt Havoc. All right, fair play, you actually did take it out, Barry. But so much for this being the most difficult totem trial. You were right about that. And the only thing this bird is gonna do is use stockpile. So that's GG to you then, Obama. This trial was an absolute joke. Yeah, they could have just cut this entire part out. But anyway, with this done, that means we still have a grand trial to do, but I have no idea who the kahuna is going to be. You serious, Barry? It's obviously going to be that toddler from earlier with the purple hat and the horse Pokemon. What the hell is Mina doing now? Apparently, she just took a picture of me and Rai Chu with her hands Donald. I think she's been smoking too much of that cabbage like you have Joe because she's lost the plot. But anyway, I think we get the final Z crystal now, boys. You know, Obama, something you could do if you want to raise your street cred level? is turn all those Z crystals you have into a chain like mine. Actually, there's a few we don't have. I just realized we don't have the ice one or the flying type one. Well, you better get your ass to finding them before this series ends, Obama. I want a full collection of Z crystals in your bag so I can claim them as mine and get some of those Victoria's Secret models to like me like they like the other moron. Personality and the right type of sunglasses is also part of it, Donald. Neither of which you will find or have, so you may as well give up now. Well, well, look who decided to show up then, boys. The old man and the little child. I guess you're right, though, Joe. I'll have to battle her now. She's a ground-type person, Obama, which means using water will probably be your best bet. Well, this one is definitely the final trial of the game, Barry. And lucky for you, I'm here to help out, which means you'll win. And if you don't, then it's not my fault, just so you know. Sure, whatever, Joe, at this point, I'm just gonna pretend you don't exist until this battle is done anyway. But hey, look, we're battling on Executor Island by the looks of things. Well, we're here, so obviously we're battling here too, you dummy. Yeah, I thought we'd just be here to stare at the toddler and then leave Obama. All right, holy hell, I think Joe's coming back. We need you to keep out for as long as possible, Jizzy Joe. If he finds out we're battling the child, then we'll have to banish him. I'll have to get this battle done as fast as possible, then Donald, which will be easy since my skill level has elevated to S-Class now. Uh-huh, we'll see. And looks like you even have a little audience too, so don't embarrass yourself. Hang on, let me battle the child Obama. I haven't even had a single go at anything yet. And if you don't want Joe to make an appearance and start groping Hapu, then I think I should play. Holy shit, that didn't need to be said, but fine, here you go. Don't mess this up. I got this Barry. You've both been going on about how good Shiro has been since it evolved, so I'd like to see its strength for myself. First of all, don't refer Shiro as an it, Joe. And second of all, yeah, it's strong as hell. It's like a demon in the shape of a good boy. Yep, see, with one crunch, you took out that Galurk without any trouble, Joe. Even everyone in the comments knows how good he is. He's a fan favorite now, and he's the color of a Democrat. I'll agree with you on everything except that last part. But anyway, Hapu's second Pokemon is the horsey. Oh, and it's gonna use its Z move, which means bye bye to Shiro, boys. I know for a fact that Mudsdale is actually super strong. Yeah, it's definitely dead now, but that's okay. It did well taking out Golurk. That move is super effective too, which is just wonderful, isn't it? But anyway, I'm still gonna win. I think I'll send out that steering wheel Pokemon next. Yeah, Joe, you moron, it's called Del Mice. And the Pokemon is not even the wheel, but the seaweed, which has stuck itself to the wheel, which is also from a ship, by the way. All right, if I wanted a nerd's response, I'd have asked, but I didn't, did I, Donald? Oh, hey, we should probably remove Energy Ball off this guy since its special attack is shockingly bad, boys. You got lucky here one-shotting Mudsdale Joe, but our Del Mice is more of a physical attacker. Holy smokes, her final Pokemon is a Flygon. Did not see this one coming at all. I don't think Hapu is even worthy of using a Dragon-type on her team, especially since she's like five. Yeah, dragon types are renowned to be the hardest Pokemon to train, actually, so this makes no sense. And you're right, Donald. Unless Hapu was training Flygon while she was still in the womb, then there's no way she should have this Pokemon right now. 
I think that's taking it a little too far, Joe, but sure, you still one shot it with the ice cream too, though, so that was good. And now she only has one Pokemon left. I would still like someone to tell me how a child is the final boss of this game, because let's be honest, that's how it is, isn't it? Ah, I see Hapu is trying to copy Cynthia by using a dragon type, and now a Gastrodon, even if it is the blue one. Yo, this Gastrodon takes me back to our Pokemon Platinum playthrough we did a few months ago, boys, although you weren't in existence back then, Jizzy Joe. That was a super fun playthrough. Yeah, we do need to visit the Sinnoh region again soon. Obama and I also want to go meet my beloved Cynthia, too. She's like the stormy of the Pokemon world. All right, don't you dare ever compare the gorgeous and beautiful and more so the innocent Cynthia to your stormy Donald. Not even Jizzy Joe would go near that. Okay, how about bringing the conversation back to the victory you just achieved, Joe, before we get canceled again? And I think we're about to get the ground type Z crystal now, too. Yeah, but why would we ever use that, Obama? We have better Z crystals and moves in general now ever since I gave our entire team a glow up a few episodes ago. Okay, well, I did it, boys. The gangster rapper Jizzy Joe beat the final trial of this game for you, Obama, and I probably saved you more embarrassment by doing that, too. Well, while you were doing that, Joe, I had some time to upload a sneak preview of a new Pokemon game we're making a complete full movie of on Patreon. It'll be released on YouTube in the next couple weeks when it's done, but if you'd like to get early access to it, then consider joining our Patreon. Oh, that game. Yeah, that's been super fun to play, hasn't it, boys? Please also remember to like this video and subscribe if you've enjoyed our Ultra Sun series too, everyone. All right, Barry, you gotta head to Mount Lanakila now, it seems. That's where the Elite Four is being built, isn't it? Yep, that's right, Joe. That's where yours truly will become the first champion of a region, which will make Donald super jealous El Mao. I've gone beyond jealousy, Obama, so do what you want. I'll always get to live with the fact that you're the worst trainer out of the two of us, which is more important to me. Okay, probably time to end the episode, boys. So thanks for watching, everyone. This is Jizzy Joe signing off for now, and I guess I'll say bye for the other two as well. See you all in part 17. Just so you know, I'm more than capable of saying bye myself.